some people don't think elections matter all that much. I think elections are absolutely central. They're the core of the country, or at least one of them, rights or another thing. Um, and so the legitimacy of the government is really important. And if the losers don't think they lost because the election outcome is legitimate, then they may not participate in the government or may engage in civil unrest or who knows what else will happen. Is it possible to determine whether an election outcome is correct? There are at least two aspects to correct that I would distinguish. One of them is just a basic issue of counting correctly, doing post-election audits, making sure after the administrative procedure that counts the ballots officially, and doing a check on that, a, a kind of publicly verifiable way to test that the ballots are actually counted correctly. Having paper ballots is currently the standard for there, so there's paper that can be independently used to verify, not just a lot of electronic machine uh, results that could be uh, hacked by uh, software uh, or hardware interventions. This especially comes from the uh, post-2000 election uh, fix where a lot of jurisdictions bought electronic voting machines and that turned out to be a big mistake. The second aspect of correct that I focus more on is the question of intentionality. Do all the votes reflect the intentions of the voters? You can have a correct count if all the ballots or a significant number of the ballots are you know, fraudulent, ballot box stuffing, people being coerced or paid to vote a certain way. Can you detect that? Can that be a kind of an issue that you can find out? And if you think about trying to diagnose intentions, you realize that's gonna be kind of complicated because you have two obstacles. One, you only have the votes for the people who voted and they're anonymous, so you can't ask people, you know, how did you vote? Even if you ask them, they're not necessarily going to tell you. In the area of ballot design, a lot is known about what kinds of ballots confuse voters, what kind of uh, ballots make uh, voters able to vote the way they intend to do. Um, in the U.S., uh, we have many more elections, and in a sense, we should, so a lot of voters don't know much about the choices, and so uninformed voters go to the polls sometimes but that doesn't mean that they should be confused by a bad ballot design. You can diagnose election irregularities by looking at voter turnout. Something that I've done a lot is to look at how that relates to the way the election is administered, and especially that turns into how many voting machines are there. If there are too few voting machines, the voting lines get long, people have to wait hours to vote, and that depresses turnout. That was a huge problem in Ohio in 2004, and in Florida, and in lots of places around the country, and it's likely to be a real problem in this election that's upcoming in the United States, uh, just to be blunt about it. Election forensics, it's a hopefully growing new field that combines political science with statistics, a little bit of law, a lot of computer science, and is really, really important. It goes beyond the narrow controversies about you know, voter ID or electronic voting machines or long lines or anything in any particular election that matters. It's not for political purposes, though I hope it can be used for political purposes. It's really an area of scientific research and it's what I'm doing these days. <laughs>